Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about Stable Video Diffusion, which is an amazing tool that allows you to create animation from a single image. However, Stable Video Diffusion doesn't allow you to customize your animation, since you don't have the text box that allows you to add your prompt. Today I'm gonna show you a little hack that allows you to add facial details to your animation by using a simple workflow. This idea came on to me when I was working on a project for a client that asked me to do a Disney animation with the facial details. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I do a lot of content about 3D and AI animation. So without further ado, let's dive into tutorial. Before we start, make sure that you have installed the Stable Video Diffusion extension alongside with their checkpoint model. If you don't know how, you can check my last tutorial, link on the description. I also use the modern Disney Pixel checkpoint model for the image generation. Also, don't forget to download the Kani STXL that I am gonna use to obtain a consistent image, which is gonna simplify the animation. Also, don't forget to download my workflow in order to follow my tutorial. Once we have the every file, we are ready to go. Our workflow is composed of three main groups. The consistent image generator, which allows us to generate a consistent image. For that, I used a load checkpoint with the modern Disney Excel, a text prompt. You can add a lower loader if you want. Then I add a canny control net model that works with STXL in order to have this reference image. And based on that reference image, our key sample is going to generate different image with different expressions. Once we have all those expressions and images, we can use the batch image mixer that's going to mix different images with different expressions in order to have a reference final images that's going to be used on SVD workflow. The SVD workflow gonna make sure to gonna make sure to animate those images, then create a video of it. But before generating those in images, make sure that you respect those high and width resolution, since SVD only work with those high and width resolution. Okay, I'm gonna start from scratch and show you how it's done. So before we start, I'm gonna make sure to enable this control net by clicking Control and B. Now we have our control net activated. Control net is gonna allow us to generate the same consistent image of this old man with different expressions. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between control net activated and disactivated. So let's click Q prompt and wait for the image to generate. Now we have our image. You can see that the its expression change a little bit compared to this reference image. Here he, he is looking with a smile and on this image he looks surprised. He looks surprised because I add this surprise look on my text prompt in order to obtain this, this expression. So now I'm gonna bypass this control net and click Q prompt again and see what we can obtain. And here you can see once I, did, I bypassed this control net, we obtained a different image. It is true that the old man looks surprised, but it is not consistent with my image reference. So now you can understand why I use this control net in order to obtain consistent images. If I use this image, my SVD animation is gonna be horrible. Okay, I'm gonna do one more try with a smiling face. I'm only gonna add this smiling here and click Q prompt. Here you can see that we obtained consistent image with the reference image. The old man is smiling now. Let's go into the image batch mixer. First of all, I'm gonna enable this. Set group to always. And I'm gonna disable this image generator. 
I'm gonna set group nodes to never. This batch image workflow we're gonna allows us to mix between the two expressions to obtain a series of mixed images between a smiling and uh, a serious look. This idea came up to me when I was watching the latent vision YouTube channel. I think he is the creator of the IP adapter face ID. You can check his channel, he do a lot of interesting content. Okay, now I'm gonna click Q prompt and show you what this workflow gonna do. Here we have the repeated Im batch images for the two expressions. Then they're gonna be mixed to obtain this series of different expressions. After that, I remix it again to obtain this final series of images. Here we have both expressions that are gonna be used for the video animation. However, for every expression, we need to change this value over here in order to obtain consistent animation. I don't know why, maybe someone can tell us in the comment section below. But every expression has its unique amount of repeated images. So once we have our images, we can enable this workflow here, set group to always, make sure that you have selected the SVD-XD model for my SVD parameters. I set a motion bucket of 115 and the FPS of 24. I also use the magmentation level of 0.05. You can change the speed of the animation by changing those values, the augmentation level and the motion bucket ID. And for the rest, I leave it as it is. Now you just have to click Q prompt to obtain animation. I also try to combine this workflow with Animate Diff as the Excel version, but it gives me a bad results with a short amount of time. However, for this SVD workflow, the animation time was 4 seconds, but for the animated version, I only obtained 2 second animation. And since my client wanted 4 second animation of facial details, so I used this SVD workflow. Okay, that was a quick tutorial on table video diffusion with this little hack over here. If you like this video, push the like button for me and leave a comment. Thank you.